God, dude, flying makes me sick. I just flew from Sacramento to Indianapolis. I found a black Type R at this place called Ed Martin Honda. As you can tell by the title of the video, I am buying a, a black 2021 Civic Type R today. MSRP, no extras, all that good stuff. We'll go over all of that and I'll tell you my payment. And after I set up my insurance, I'll tell you that too. I'll tell you all the good stuff you want to know. But first things first is getting some fresh air so I don't throw up and catching this Uber. I told them to not give it like a, a touch up or a clean up. So I'm gonna do that myself once I get to a sunny area. Here you go. I mean, that's a, it's a 2021 Type R. Got some plastic right here. Got some plastic on the infotainment. They threw in a Honda hat, which I will rock because why not? This is so weird, all this stuff is brand new. Oh, I've never felt this before. This actually, wow. It actually feels really nice. I like this new Alcantara steering wheel. Oh, okay. And the shift knob too. Interesting. Oh God, this feels brand new. It needs to be broken in, guys. Here's my number. Cool. Oh, look at this. Yep. Good stuff. Okay, the first startup. Oh, it's quiet. You want to say hi? Minutes? You want to say hi to everyone? Hi, everybody! This is Ron Hammer. This is the easiest time I have had purchasing a vehicle by far. I've been here for 25 minutes, not even 30 minutes. Uh, and yeah, that's in probably about 42 minutes. Actually. Oh well, <laughs> hey, that's still the that's still the fastest in by the far. Door, out the door with the car. Exactly. Appreciate it, man. Hey, awesome. Yeah, let's go in here and we'll get you yeah. set up and get you on the road. Wow. So that happened so quickly. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say, guys. <laughs> this happened so fast. This is just crazy. Okay, so there are obviously a lot of questions right now. A lot of people are going to be wondering what happened to the Ohio deal? What happened to the Ohio deal? Did it fall through? No, it did not. I told you guys in my last two last videos that I did still I still didn't have a ship date for the car. I didn't even have a build date for the car. In my position, I really cannot keep you guys waiting and I can't keep myself waiting as well. So I went ahead and I tried to find an, a, another one for MSRP that I could get right now. And I was able to find one Wednesday morning. I was on the phone with Ron, three minutes, four minutes. And he said, yeah, MSRP, no extras. I'm not gonna charge you anything else. We're not gonna hide in any uh, paint protection stuff. Although he did forget to charge me for the window tint. So they actually tinted the windows which is a very good thing that I got that's registered in Maine because California would not let me tint the front windows. So that, I mean, it already is tinted. It looks freaking amazing, dude. And with the Type R, I love how this trim right here is black from the factory. And you know what? I told you guys that I hated this red striping that goes all the way around the car. And I still hate the, the red striping around the wheels. But I will admit, that the red striping does look better. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks better on the black car. You know, red and black are like peanut butter and chocolate. It's like, this is like the Reese's cup of cars, black and red. So yeah, I was on the phone with Ron for a couple minutes. That afternoon, I got a call from the finance manager. We set everything up. I put 4,000 down, 72 months, 589 a month. I think the total finance is like 37, two. I'm still gonna get gap insurance though with uh, USAA. I need to call like right now when I leave. I don't know guys, this is this is weird. It's a good weird though. All right, first stop is gonna be Walmart. It's about 15 minutes away, I definitely need. I am freaking dehydrated guys. And also I am in desperate need of some blueberry Red Bull because I tried out the watermelon one and it sucks. Okay, let's go to comfort. Oh, big difference in throttle response. Oh. I'm gonna be very nice to her. Oh, she's gonna be such a good girl. Okay, so I have not driven uh, a 2021 in up type R yet. As you guys know, I almost bought a 2018 and I reviewed a 2019. So 
let's go into sport. Does this have the fake engine sound or is it? Oh, it's, I think it's both. I think the fake sound is a little less prominent in sport mode, but it's really there in R. Since I really don't have too much time to sit around, uh, I'd like to get as much driving it before it gets dark. So I didn't look at the owner's manual yet, but I'm pretty sure it's similar to the SI. So the first 600 miles, I'm not gonna give it more than 50% throttle, uh, nor 50% on the brakes. This is sweet, guys. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't even think you guys are ready for all this content. I'm not even ready. This is gonna be insane, guys. My friend, uh, Ranger, he has a company called Elite Tuner. Really, really nice guy. One of the nicest guys I have ever, like, virtually met. He posted a YouTube video of him with his Type R racing in uh, a Mercedes AMG something. I don't know, I'm not very good with Mercedes. And he beat it. Very cool. Is rev matching on? Yep, wow, that's... Dude, that auto rev matching is life changing, for sure. One thing I am gonna make sure I do is, since I need to brake this in properly, I mean, I have 17 miles on it right now, I really need to vary the load. I need to go from higher RPMs to lower RPMs to first gear to sixth gear, back down to first. I need to call Vivian, let her know all is good. I shared, she wanted me to share my location with her, so I did. An automated voice messaging system. I bet she's taking a nap. Did you get your car? I did, yeah. I'm driving it right now. I just left the dealership like 10 minutes ago. Aw, how is it? It's really nice. <laughs> oh, good. So actually, instead of going to St. Louis, Missouri tonight and staying at that Air Force base, I, I mentioned that uh, when I was in the dealership and my salesman recommended that I not go to St. Louis. So he said Nashville would be a better place to go. So Nashville's only like a 30 minute drive more. Oh crap, so I'm gonna go to Nashville tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop at Walmart real quick. I am severely dehydrated and uncaffeinated. But yeah, this car is wicked nice, babe. Wicked, wicked. It's completely different from the SI. Definitely had a good time buying this car. Good. It's too bad you couldn't come, because it would have been a fun road trip. All right, guys. So just like I said, I need to I need to really focus on making sure that I give this different amounts of load to break it in properly. I was going to do the first couple hundred miles of the trip back roads, but I really need to book it to Nashville. I'm not even going to get there till 9 p.m. as it is. I'm going to sit on the highway, but what I am doing, you see, I'm at 62 miles per hour now. I'm gonna give it a little bit load, two PSI, get up to 68, I'll wait for this truck to pass me and then I'll get back up to 80 and cruise between 75 and 80 for a couple minutes and go back down to the 60 miles per hour. So that is what I'm doing. So far, first impressions, uh, <laughs> this is a completely different car from the SI. Completely different. And you know, maybe I have a little bit of that buyer's you know excitement right now because when i test drove the 2019 and when i almost bought the 2018 i didn't really have that i didn't really have this feeling you know i was more skeptical than anything but now that i know i have a brand new car that uh hasn't had any previous owners it makes me feel a little different the sound system i can someone comment if the sound system is different in the type r versus the si because i don't think it is it isn't really sound that different to me maybe it sounds a little more clear but I mean there's definitely not any more bass or stuff like that uh, this the adaptive sound control yeah it's definitely there I'm not really gonna be able to hear it until after I break it in and I can give it you know 50% to full throttle but yeah even just like cruising couple pounds of boost you can really hear it <laughs> and it doesn't sound too bad at low boost we're gonna have to see how that sounds under uh, like a full load five pounds of boost it's about as much as I want to go right now this is so smooth and the shifting is phenomenal the single mass flywheel just the type R transmission alone is way better 
I mean, it's it's a completely different class. It's so much more pleasant to drive. You don't have to worry about rev hang. You don't have to fight the car to shift smoothly. It just does it. This is truly an impressive car. I am absolutely loving it so far. Oh, I can't help but keep stopping. I just noticed they have 93. Dude, that's exciting, man. That's the first time I've been able to put 93 in my car ever. Okay, so this is probably the fourth time I've stopped. It's 8.23 p.m., sorry. And my mom, actually, uh, I called her, you know, on my drive. I talked to my parents, told them that I bought a new car, whatever. My mom actually went out of her way and bought my hotel room for the night, so that's nice. So I'm on the way there. I was planning on meeting some people and trying to get some dinner, maybe at a burger place, barbecue place, but I looked at the places that I was sent and they are going to be closed by the time I get there, or about to be closed. I'm gonna have to give this a paint correction when I get back. At least I know how to do it now. The car's been great. I did accidentally hit one pothole on the left side, and I just checked the rim, and the rim looks perfect, so I got a little paranoid about that. I'm gonna have to get aftermarket wheels very, very, very soon. The ones that I wanna get are these ones right here. I think silver wheels and the black type R would look phenomenal, and I couldn't find any other pictures online of someone with a black type R with these BBS wheels. They're a little bit expensive, but I think they're gonna be amazing. Okay, onward. I have another hour and a half to drive tonight, so let's just do it. Yeah, I mean, so far this has been just awesome. Almost missed my turn there. Let's put it in R so you guys can hear the yeah, there it is. It actually doesn't sound too bad. I'm not gonna go crazy because it's raining right now. Otherwise, I would take this turn pretty hard, but. Auto rev matching is amazing. I'm not gonna go past 3,500 RPM right now. sound too bad actually I think I might leave that adaptive sound control plugged in and just kind of see how it sounds after I start adding some bolt-ons it does kind of suck that it's raining at least there's no snow on the ground it could be snowing and that would be a lot worse because I'm on summer tires so I really I really can't complain it's been a pretty good day overall I'll see you guys back at the hotel well my mom really loves me because she got me a pretty nice room it's not bad at all it's a big bed. It's bigger than the bed Vivian and I have. So first day was a success. Nothing, nothing went wrong, nothing bad happened. I really wish I could have met up with some of you guys for dinner, but I'm gonna Google a good breakfast or donut or something like that, uh, one of those places, and then I will let you guys know what time I'll be there tomorrow morning. Whoever wants to come by, come by. That's one of my goals for this trip is to meet a lot of people. Oh my God, I need to turn the AC on right now. Use wall thermostat. 73? Absolutely not, brother. Yeah, 73 is absolutely unacceptable. Okay, before this video is freakishly long, I'm gonna hurry up and edit this video. It's gonna be out tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. After tomorrow, every video is gonna be out every other day. So I give you guys enough time to you know watch each video. And then hopefully I can just meet up with as many people as I can and have a good time. See some cool stuff. Definitely gonna stop at the Grand Canyon. This would not have been possible if it weren't for all of you who watch my videos. It's quite an honor, it really is. I won't let you down, boys.